Alright, alright, welcome back my fellow Tarnished, this is Space Doggy coming back at you with another episode of Let's Play Elden Ring. And we are actually going to be starting off over here in Limgrave by the NPC Sorceress Selen. This is someone we talked to early, early on before we were actually doing an intelligence build. And now that we've got 45 in our intelligence stat, I kind of want to talk to her and see if she's got more stuff for us. So, hello, Miss Selen. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? I forgot we were her oh. apprentice. Dang. All right. So, let's study. And dude, I'm trying to buy it all. Glenstone Comet Shard. Boom. Glenstone Arc. Uh, what else? A thousand. Scholar Shield. Wow. Probably won't use that. Do I have enough? Oh, I almost have enough. No, there's still a couple left. Okay, so let's show her Azure Sorcery. Is sorcery, my apprentice. Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master yes, Azure is a founding Glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. A stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You Must make have. us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. Okay. Tell me your story, if Selen. You recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Yep. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I oh want dear. Glimstone sorceries that open our minds. Unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me okay. out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Yeah, let us journey together. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. Ah, good one. I have a favor to ask. I need your help, my apprentice. Maybe she Master has the favor. Master is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, oh. can you find Master Lusat? With this hmm. glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. Ooh, a glimstone key. Celian Sealbreaker. Oh! I think we're about to go to Celia, too! I no need way! Him to restore the primeval current of glimstone what sorcery. great timing that is! He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. I don't know what nigh really means, but all right, let's ask for a lead on Lusat. After his expulsion from the academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the eastern Caled Wilds. I cannot believe this. This Thinking is so awesome. It, I obtained the glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. Oh wow! Oh, that's so cool, y'all. Okay. So, she just gave me a lead on Lusat for her story. Go, like, please go to Celia. The title of our episode today is Celia Gateway. My whole plan was to go to Celia. And I, I really, truly didn't know that this was the side quest. Oh, I love when that works out. Oh, wow. How lovely is that? All right. I just kind of am blown away at how well that worked out. All right. So, uh, let me put a marker on here that there might be more dialogue or treasure if we keep talking with her. Okay, so, I wanted us to pick up at the Kalid Highway South. I did a little bit of recon before the episode just to see what was waiting for us. And there's a merchant I want to stop by and talk to. And then there will be a side of grace. Um, let me make sure... Alright, so we're basically just going to follow the road. So we already did South Kaled. Um, last episode, we worked on 
Dragon Barrow. I'm actually looking. Did it look like there was something here? Let's make sure we didn't miss out on something. Sacred Tear, for example. I don't recall. This does not look familiar. Dude, I think this is where we can farm. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we farm the Banished Knight here. I think his armor set is the one I really liked and used on my last playthrough. He did not drop anything. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. Wow. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook. Sweet. Yeah, this is totally a place where... At I, I don't know if people still do, but it's a place for people farming. I'll put a treasure icon. That armor set. I spent a couple hours here, I'm pretty sure, farming just to get... Because there should be one other banished knight that patrols. We're way stronger than I was when I dealt with them. Huh, that's funny. Dude, there's totally one more. At least there used to be. Unless there's some kind of patch. Here. Just the one? No way. Dude, I know there's another. Something must be different. Yeah, so their armor set. I guess it's like a pretty rare drop. So we would want to use one of those pickled beets for doing all that. What's going on here? Examine altar? Oh, dude. We can do the dragon communion here? That, okay. That's fantastic. But my eyes, I noticed, are changing color. They're red now. And I think it's because I've been eating dragon hearts. So let's eat one more. That's cool. And Giel's flame. A lot of these are faith and arcane. Oh, all of them are. Okay. I mean... Yeah. What? Let's buy a couple. Magma breath. Just go crazy. Dang. Alright, we bought all but one. So, our eyes are probably going to be real dragon-like. Well, I was all hesitant to do it, but no going back now. <laughs> See, my eyes, you can't really tell here. But, anyways. Oh, yeah. I think there's a setting you can turn on and off the dragon look of your character but anyways nice I'm really glad we uh this wasn't part of my mission here's guy come on drop something I dare you maybe we can try that pulled thing careful 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 boost item discovery okay so if we eat this. Wow. Come on. Come on. So we're more likely. He dropped something. Check it out. Banish Knight armor. Sweet. So the question is. If I reload the area, do I lose my... No, no. I think I still got it. Dude, let's go deal with him. Hey, you! Why is there not a second one of you? Banished Knight Great Sword and Gauntlets? Dude. Alright, let's see if we can do it one more time. Is that half the armor we got? In two tries? Oh, heck yeah. Hey! Hey, you! Hey, you. Nothing that time. Understandable. That's pretty cool, though. 
Alright. I don't really feel like farming right now, but now we know we can use that pickled foul foot or whatever and reload the area. I didn't know we could do that, so nice. That might be the first time I ever used that item, to be honest. This guy wasn't here earlier. I think that might be Knight's Calvary. Put on my mask. I want him to know who I am. <laughs> Dude, this is totally... Oh, wow. Dark Moon Greatsword time. Ah, crap. Ow. All right, all right. Got him. Come on. Come on, get out. What? Cavil time. Mixing it up. himself back onto the horse wow it's kind of it kind of reminds me of us when we resummon torrents actually all right dude i kind of forgot about the knight's calvary nice nice that was a pleasant surprise yeah we definitely waited a little longer to come back here than maybe we should have but it's all good no selling i you got cracked pots. Thank you. Gravity's advantage. We'll grab the notes. Champion headband and stuff. Ooh. Cookbook. Rot bone bolt arrow. Nice. I like the champion gear. That's kind of interesting. We don't have enough to get the whole thing though, so we'll wait. Nice. Okay. Let's look at the note real quickly. Hmm. Gravity's advantage. Gravitational power that pulls can bring flying foes down. Huh. Well, no doy. That's why it's gravitation. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I guess it's not really a, a death thing, but, I mean, what does gravity do if not... Do we have gravity magic? You know what? I don't know. I think we have to... We do have it. We have to... Equip it at a side of grace. So... Alright, so we already went down that way. Because that led to Redon's festival. Oh, gosh. That bird. Windy crystal tear. Nice. We totally missed that item. Alright, multiple birds. This isn't good. I think we are much stronger against them. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, bird. Enough. Enough. Enough's enough. Dude. <laughs> this guy's spazzing out on me, man. <laughs> like, take it easy, man. I'm just passing through. Man, oh man. Alright, so it looks like we got that golden seed. Alright, nice. So, off to Celia we go. Let's see here. There's our merchant. All right, so a little detour there, but we got another uh, tier, so that's good, that's good. Okay, so we're about to come to the end of my recon. What 
the heck is that? Is the game being glitchy or is that a unique enemy? You see this? It's a death burn. Oh wow. Where'd he go? Ow. Alright. Great sword. Oh, shoot. Ow. 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 That sucks. Okay. Come on. You want to frostbite me? No, I'll frostbite you back. Frostbitten. Come on. Come on. Dang, son. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Okay, okay. Come on. I don't know if I've encountered any of these on the recording. I think we've only seen a few of these. And the last one I saw, I actually was between recordings, just running around the Altus Plateau. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. But let's go figure this one out. Honestly, I need to jump back on the horse and just take it a little, take it slow, be a little careful, you know. Death birds. All right, so, I'm really glad that caught my eye. I was kind of convinced it was a, uh, what am I trying to say? Like just one of the regular birds. So let's go grab the side of grace here so that if we don't make it again, we'll, you know, we don't quite have to go so far. Okay. So nice, nice. This one is called Southern Aonia Swamp Bank. Swamp Bank, hoo ha ha. All right. Freaking death birds. So, do they like only spawn at night? That doesn't seem right, is it? I mean, they're de it's definitely not here. So let's try to wait till nighttime. See if that brings it out. Come on, come on. I honestly love the feature where the game has certain enemies that come out at night. You know, like just additional challenges. That's totally what it is. Yeah, all right. So, here we go, here we go. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I was in there in the pocket thinking I was safe, 
that was not safe. That is not. Nope. 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 All right. Maybe. Hmm. Just trying to think strategically here. Um. Bird. Seriously. Come on. Come on. Uh. Here's our side of grace. I think we're gonna have to change the time of day again real quickly. All right. Nightfall it is. I wonder if we have anything for a frostbite. We have one item. You know, I don't think we're gonna use it. It's all good. I haven't connected one. Come on. Got him. Go, go, go. All right, all right. Got a good amount of his health bar now. That's what we want to be away from. What? Go, 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 go. What the heck? Dude, this guy is crazy. Oh my gosh. These attacks are kind of awesome. Ah. Alright, get out, get out, get out. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Wow. You see this? These attacks are crazy, dude. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stay away. That is what was ending us. Come on, all right. Doing well, you just gotta be careful. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, sucker! Ranged combat. Oh, what, what, what? Dude, that was tough, man. <laughs> Death's poker. Dude, that was a respectable boss fight right there. Some of these field bosses kind of feel like a joke to me, to be honest. Not because I'm that good, just because I think I might be a little over leveled. You know, just to be abundantly clear, I don't think I'm that good at this. It's just. You know, I'm level 125, and that's, I don't know, I guess some people do at level 1. I'm just a little insecure about my skill level, okay guys? Just, that's all. Anyways, y'all hear that? Oh, can we like reach this guy? Oh, snap. Alright, back to business. I'm not sure if we can reach him from this, but... We defeated the Death Bird. 
So next up is the Celia Gateway straight ahead. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude! Alright, let's go get our um, Estus Flask or... What are, what are these called? They're not Estus Flask. Our healing items back. Alright. So now we defeated the Death Bird. Celia Gateway. It's gonna lead us to the little town that Selen was talking to us about. Boom, boom. Ow, ow. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Thanks, guy. Golden Rune 2, thank you very much. Golden Rune 2, I think. Whoa, dude. Okay, okay. Now their little item. Last shard, thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Interesting. I don't think we've ever seen those guys use, you know, like explosives before. So this is kind of looking familiar. Oh my gosh, we can't look at our map here because this freaking guy. We're coming for you, man. Not now, but one day. Oh, run! <laughs> All right, Celia Gateway. Here we are. All right. So it says, stop by the shack. Okay. That dog looked like it was meditating. Nice. I love it when they kind of bend in, give you their head, just smack. Oh, I remember this NPC. Oh, gallery shack. Oh, Let's chat. pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. Indeed. I am Gary, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. My a ilk? strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret, mm. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Okay. Let's hear the request. Why not? Oh, then you are I love to the side quest in this game. Are you? I yeah. need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Millicent. Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. Resting at the church atop of the cliff? Okay. The rotting sickness that afflicts Millicent has no cure. When the earth uh. tree flourished, even the demigods could not stave off its effects, despite their nigh godhood. But Millicent's suffering can be ameliorated. For this, okay. you are to find a certain needle. Seek Unalloyed. the deep scarlet swamp of Aeonia outside Celia's bounds. The needle, made from unalloyed gold, is lost yep. somewhere there. In the swamp. So we have to go explore the swamp. Okay, First, okay. you must find the unalloyed gold needle. It's hidden somewhere in the deep scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Then I will tell you the secret of the top. Okay, alright. So, that swamp, we actually haven't really spent much time in there. I think I, like, raced through there once. I'm trying to remember here. Celia Crystal Tunnel. This was a place we were transported to early, early on in the game. And I think when we came out, we bumped into this side of Grace. And I only recently discovered this uh, swamp shore. So we haven't really done any work inside the swamp. So this seems like a perfect opportunity to pivot. Look for that needle of unalloyed gold. Whatever that is. That item has something to do with, I think, the Alba Norix. But, hey, what up, Maya Mason? It's going pretty well. It's Friday. It's my day to play some games. So, I'm doing pretty well. How about you? 
Alright. Let's see. So, he hasn't told us the secret yet, but I think we can still enter. Maybe? Celia, the town of sorcery. So, let's not forget... We, um, we have to look for not only that lady, that Millicent, also the needle, but also, I think the name was Lucat, Selen, the sorceress, she's got that buddy of hers that was exiled from the Carrion Academy. Okay, thankfully, we have strong enough weapons where this shouldn't be too problematic, but, um, yeah, alright. Let's see. I wonder if we've got to wait before we tackle this. Like, we might have to return to that swamp first. Which, interestingly enough, we can do that from here. We don't even have to go around. It actually, I kind of forgot it connects to the swamp. The swamp creatures. Okay, okay. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. You know? I think it's time. Let's just start looking in the swamp. Come oh, on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Quit playing, man. So, the Needle of Unalloy- oh, check it out! Sweet! Got a new side of grace. This might be more of our, kind of, hub while we explore the swamp. Okay, Celia Understair. Okay. I think this actually just leads to the town of Celia, so. What other games do I play at this time? Um, right now, on my Xbox? Ah, oh shoot! On my Xbox, which is what I stream on, I'm mostly, pretty much exclusively playing Elden Ring. But, normally on like the weekend, when I'm not recording, I like to pop on, uh, I've been playing Bloodborne, a new game plus, on my PS5. And, I'm loving uh, Bloodborne's DLC. I just got the Moonlight Greatsword for Bloodborne. It's so, it's so fun to use. It changes the game so much. Uh, but yeah, Bloodborne and Lords of the Fallen. So, yeah. Anyway, we're out in Stray Ashes. But, where am I from? From, uh, originally Memphis, Tennessee. But, USA. USA. So, yeah. How about you? Where are you from? Where the heck? Maybe it's deep in the middle of the swamp. Let's let's try that. Cause I've been on like the edges of the swamp. What if it's just chilling in the middle? In Texas? Oh, nice. I love Texas. What part of Texas? Oh well, thank you, thank you. You have a great day. <laughs> Later. All right. So I don't know what I just picked up because I was looking at the chat. Dang it. <laughs> I don't think it was the unalloyed gold. So, oh, Houston, nice, that's a great town, great town, oh, I forgot, we will, oh, shoot, <laughs> uh, if we're not on Torrent, I kind of forgot, we will get rot, so, we have to be a little bit careful, let's see, would it be in a catacomb? You know, like the unalloyed. Oh wow! Clean my night. Clean my night. Oh no! Oh no! Haha! Oh, no. oh, not so fast, clean rotten nights. All right, where the heck should we go? I don't know. All right, maybe. Over here? Some ruins. Street of Sages Ruins. That's good. That's good. What? My profession? Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm actually a staff accountant for a uh, medical company. So I'm crunching numbers day in, 
day out. It's Monday through Friday. It's not bad at all, actually. I kinda, I kinda like it. Let's do some addition, some subtraction. Show up, put a smile on my face. That's the whole thing, that's the whole job. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's in an air-conditioned, comfortable office with some pretty nice people. Yeah, I'm very, very blessed to have that job. All right, something incredible ahead. Let's see. Oh, is it the unalloyed needle? No, it's rock sling, which is cool, I guess, but yeah. All right, all right. So, no trap ahead. Okay, so maybe let's just keep, oh gosh, that rot build up. We'll just keep making our way in here and traveler's gloves. Perfume bottles. Oh, oh shoot. Alright, alright. We good, we good. Oh, wow. Dude came from out of the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, Discord? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, my Discord's actually the exact same. Oh, shoot. As my, uh,. Oh crap, alright, let me, let me get, come on guys, yeah, my Discord, it's the same as my Twitch, which is also the same as my, uh, my YouTube channel, it's Space Doggy 777 so totally add me, oh shoot, oh no, ow, oh. ow, oh. get off of me, Okay. What the heck, guys? Where is this needle? Alright. Got him. Got him. Let me see. Perfect opportunity. All right, one moment in the chat on that. Let me uh, let me talk to this ghost. I'll pull you up. I got you. Boom. Oh shoot! What was he saying? What was he saying? Let me see it. If only one last time. Your splendid blade dancing amongst the scarlet rot. Oh shoot, he's talking about Melania, man. Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. Oh shoot. I think we're getting invaded? Dude, we gotta get off of this scarlet rot. I think we're about to get invaded. Melissa? Melissa, wait. I thought we were helping her. I don't want to kill her. Whoa, dude. That's the waterfowl. Dance. Okay, okay. Do we... I don't want to kill her. What if she's... We're supposed to save her. I'm going to let her kill me. I don't want to... I, I don't know, like, we're supposed to help her, so I don't want to mess up that quest line. I'm going to leave her be. I'm not going to... I'm going to look this up, you know, because that might be being dumb and we can totally defeat her. But I just don't want to... I don't want to blow it. So, anyway. All right. So, smack dab in the middle of the swamp. Uh, I don't know where that needle is. Something just tells me. Oh shoot! Dang, dude. That was pretty epic. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. What you got? 
Oh shoot. Standard uh, unalloyed gold needle, my guys. What's up, bro? Oh, I thought we were gonna have to end the episode without finding it, but no, no, we freaking got it, dude. Nice. All right, 12,000. That doesn't seem like a lot of salt or runes, but it's actually okay because I'm trying to not level up for a little bit so we got the uh, unalloyed gold needle so now we can go back and um, talk to homeboy what's his name what was his name gallery I think his name was gallery yeah um, all right, we're probably gonna get invaded again but I'm not gonna defeat Millicent Millicent crap 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 Dude, I'm just gonna run. Cause it, even if I let her, y'all understand, right? Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna mess up the quest if I defeat her, you know? So, oh shoot! Come on! All right, go, go, go! Clean rod helm, nice. Okay. Dude, let's just go, go, go. Is she behind me? Dude, she's totally following me. Oh no. Oh no. It's cool though. Because it. Oh wow, look. Look at these items. If she defeats me over here, Rune Arc, Sacramental Blood. Whoa! Millicent. She returns to the other world. Sweet. Sweet. Alright. And. Uh, ah, yeah. Hiya! Nice. Alright. So we need to cure the Scarlet Rot if we can. Okay. So. Let me cure that. So we got that unalloyed gold needle. So it's time now to... I think we can make our way back to Sage Gallery over there. But... Let me see here. We've got... Yeah, we are out of time for this episode, so let me, I'm going to warp over here, fast travel over here, and I think we'll call it this episode, but next episode, first thing we'll do is go up here to Gowry Shack and talk to him about the gold needle, maybe we'll get to mention that we bumped into Millicent, I'm not sure, um, but whatever the case, I love that we found this, this is great. And next episode, we'll also keep an eye out for that sorcerer, Lukat, or whatever. So, um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, uh, in the chat. I, uh, yeah, I'll hop on Discord briefly. I gotta start getting ready for work soon. But, yeah, I'll see what's up, say hey. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, I post my streams over my YouTube channel. It's got the same handle as my Twitch. It's Space Doggy 777 and over there you can find all my Let's Play videos for Elden Ring from part one all the way through this one. And we're, we're approaching 100 episodes pretty soon. That's crazy. Um, but I guess I'll just see you next time. This is Space Doggy signing off. Peace.